Van Gogh's hero, the hero of almost all generous-minded men in the late 19th century, was Tolstoy. There he is, sawing wood, expressing the feeling that one must share the life of working people, partly as a sort of atonement for years of oppression, partly because that life was nearer to the realities of human existence. Tolstoy towered above his age, as Dante and Michelangelo and Beethoven had done. His novels are marvels of sustained imagination. His doctrines are full of contradictions. He wanted to be one with the peasants, yet he continued to live like an aristocrat. He preached universal love, but he quarrelled so painfully with his poor demented wife that at the age of 82 he ran away from her. After a nightmare journey, he collapsed at a country railway station. He was laid out on a bed in the station master's house. Almost his last words were, how do peasants die? There he died, with all the horrors of modern publicity stewing outside the station. After his death, when the peasants were singing a lament, soldiers were sent in with drawn swords to stop them from mourning the subversive infidel. However, there was no way of preventing the funeral. That scene took place in 1910. Within two years, Rutherford and Einstein had made their first discoveries. So, a new era had begun even before the 1914 war.